Here is our macrame cap. If you were in our class, we only got about as far as the ears. So I'm going to go over how some of the knots work so you know how to do them. I'm going to start at the beginning so we know how to do all of it. If you are not in the class, check out the description for supplies needed and information about the pattern, along with my contact info if you want to use the Makerspace. So let's get started. The first knot we need is an overhand knot, and that is basically tying a knot like you normally would. I'll show it with a different cord because these small black cords will be hard to see. But first, I'll pin it on the board to make an A-frame shape. So here is the thicker cord. To do an overhand knot, you loop it around and pull through and then tighten, and there you go. The next knot is the reverse lark head. You'll have your anchor. These would be our anchors, but I'm going to show you here with this cord. Put this cord around our anchor string, put our ends through the loop created, and pull all the way through. Pull it tight. It should look like that. And we're going to do that with these as our anchors. Now we have all the reverse Lark's head knots on. The next knot is a half hitch around the working cords. So we are going to take these anchor cords and do the hitches. You work to the metal, stopping at the middle on each side. We will use the white cord as our anchor cord. Half hitch basically is you go over your cord, you go behind the cord, and then over, pulling it tight. So it'll look like that. And you'll just do that for each of the cords. It will angle depending on the side of the ear you are on. That is my middle there. I'll stop here and go to the other side, working right to left. Over, under, and through. Finish the half hitches. Now I'm going to cross these middle ones and they are going to become the anchors again. The next knot is a double half hitch. I'm going to use this as the working string and the gold as the anchor. We 
what you do is just go over like we did before, under and around. So it loops like that. And then you repeat. And through the loop, it creates. Pull tightly. That's our double half hitch. We will do it across all the strings you have. Say I'm doing it on this side, which is the left. I do it on this one, and then this one, this one, this one. Always knotting with this center string here. I'm working left to right right now, doing the center piece first. So I'm going to take my same string and do the next one. That I've finished that. The next step is to do a square knot. Square knots are a two-step process. For this one we are using string number two. Starting here that's string number one. Here's string number two. We have six fillers. Those are the strings in the middle. You're not going to use string number 10. And we are going to use string number 9. I'm going to take my right number 9 string and put it underneath these fillers. This is going to make like a P shape. Now I want to make sure that the string crosses over the number two string here. Then we will take the number two string, put it across the fillers, and through the loop created on the right. Then we will pull it tight. That is just the first half. We will now re reverse it for the second part. We're going to take our left side, which was string number nine, now kind of in the place of string number two, and put it behind the fillers, making sure to cross the right side string that was number two and is now where not number nine was. Take that string and put it through the loop we created on the left side. And then we're gonna pull it tight. And that is our square knot. So then we'll repeat that on the other ear.
Now that we finished our square knots, what we're going to do is cut two of the filler cords. Now it might seem scary, but you can tie it on the back if it kind of frightens you a little bit. So we're just going to take two randomly and then cut it. So the last step for the ears is to take a ring and double half hitch into it. Remember, double half hitching is this. Put your string over and then under and then crossing over. You repeat with it going over and then under and then through the loop it created, making it tight at the end. So here we've got the first ear onto the loop. And I'm just going to tie those two filler string together on the back and trim. And then we'll just continue with the second ear. Watch for the next video where we will work on the head of the cat.